I'm Roxanne Vainuku, Public Information Officer for the West Valley City Police Department. This briefing is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting, which occurred August 23, 2019, in the West Valley City DUI Processing Room, which is located in the basement of the West Valley City Hall building. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about police procedures related to the case so that you can have a better understanding of what happened based on what we know right now. The West Valley City Police Department adheres to the Officer Involved Critical Incident Protocol, or OICI protocol. This protocol was established to comply with Utah Code, as well as ensure every investigation of an Officer Involved Critical Incident is conducted professionally, thoroughly, and impartially. The Salt Lake City Police Department is conducting the investigation into this particular incident. The investigators will, among other things, interview witnesses, view hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We're still in the very early stages of this investigation, and these investigations can often take weeks to complete. Our understanding of this incident may change as evidence is analyzed and reviewed. We also don't draw any conclusions about whether the officer's actions are consistent with our policy and the law until all of the facts are known and the investigation is complete. In this video, you will see clips of video captured by the body-worn cameras of four of the officers on scene of this incident. Most of our officers are equipped with Axon Flex body-worn cameras that are mounted either at the shoulder or at the collar. Some West Valley City Police Department officers are currently testing the Axon Body 3, a newer wide-angle lens camera. The sample video on the top of your screen demonstrates the view from the Axon Flex. The bottom view is that of the newer Axon Body 3. The video clips you will see will be labeled 1 through 4 to represent the different videos captured by the cameras of each of the four officers. The clips in this video have been pulled out of the full-length video. However, the content of the clips has not been altered in any way. An unedited copy of the videos will be provided to media. We want to caution you that this video contains graphic images and strong language. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm Kent Stokes, Deputy Chief of the West Valley City Police Department. The video you are about to see will provide insight into the officer-involved critical incident, which occurred August 23, 2019. It will cover the original call received by police, the processing which occurred in the DUI processing room, and the altercation that took place, during which Michael Chad Breinhold grabbed hold of an officer's gun and was then shot by another assisting officer. At approximately 7 o'clock p.m. on August 23, 2019, West Valley City Police Department officers responded to a call regarding an intoxicated person at a business in the area of 2900 South Redwood Road. The caller reported that Mr. Breinholt, the boyfriend of a fellow employee, was intoxicated and causing problems at the place of business. Um, I have an employee who has, uh, unfortunately, her boyfriend has shown up he appears to be either intoxicated or high on something. Mm -hmm. um, he drove here, which is concerning. And um, now he's still here in the parking lot causing a ruckus and he's trying to get keys from her. She took the keys away and he's not okay. He's stumbling, he's slurring. Officers responded and contacted Mr. Breinhold in front of the business. Officers determined that there was probable cause to indicate that Mr. Breinhold was under the influence and that he had been driving a vehicle while in that condition. At approximately 7.40 p.m., Mr. Breinhold was taken into custody and transported to the West Valley City Police Department DUI Processing Room, which is located in the basement of West Valley City Hall at 3600 South Constitution Boulevard. This room is approximately six feet by seven feet. Inside the room is a desk and cabinets, seating for an officer and a suspect, an intoxilizer machine for breath alcohol testing, as well as supplies for blood testing. Outside the room is a small corridor with a platform that will support a computer. Mr. Breinholt was seated in this room to be processed for DUI. The process to obtain a warrant for a blood test that detects the presence of alcohol or drugs 
was underway in the small corridor outside the DUI processing room. At one point during this waiting period, Mr. Breinholt, although handcuffed, maneuvered himself into a position where he was able to remove his own shoe. Mr. Breinholt told officers that there was a gun in his shoe. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. You will now see portions of the video that include officers taking the shoe from Mr. Breinholt. The struggle that ensued and Mr. Breinholt bringing his hands around to the left side at the front of his body. Then with his left hand grabbing hold of the officer's gun. He's got my gun! He's got my gun! He's got my gun. This camera angle captures a view of the position of Mr. Breinholt's hands during the struggle. Moving around to the camera of the officer in front of Mr. Breinholt, you will see Mr. Breinholt's left arm is positioned near the front of his body and his hand is on the officer's gun. I got it. He's got my gun! He's got my gun! At this point, another officer has entered the room to assist. Mr. Breinholt's hand remains on the gun and the officer fires a single shot, immediately ending the attempt by Mr. Breinholt to take the officer's gun. I got it. He's got my gun! The entire incident, beginning with the officer's attempt to take the shoe from Mr. Breinholt until the shot is fired, is approximately six seconds. We will now show the view from all four cameras uninterrupted. And now, all four cameras playing in sync. Members of the media will receive unedited copies of each of the videos shown in this presentation. Upon completion of the investigation by the Salt Lake City Police Department, the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office, whose investigators also responded to the scene, will review the investigation as well as evidence collected and witness statements to determine if the force used by the officer violated any criminal laws. Additionally, the completed investigation will be reviewed by the West Valley City Police Department, as well as by the Professional Standards Review Board, an independent board which is comprised of West Valley City citizens, in order to determine whether the use of deadly force complied with the West Valley City Police Department's policies and procedures. This has been a critical incident briefing by the West Valley City Police Department. For more information on our policies and the officer-involved critical incident protocol, please visit our website, wvcpd.com.